Hey guys, Crow here, and welcome back. Now, today I'm discussing whether or not it's worth it upgrading to Windows 8 for Battlefield 4. Now, the recommended settings on the Battlefield 4 page are Windows 8. People are curious about that. Well, the reason I think is because of that is because on the DirectX 11 features page, it says that only partial support for DirectX 3D 11.1 is available in Windows 7, and it is fully functional in Windows 8. That pretty much means if you want DirectX 11.1 to be running at its best, you need to be running Windows 8. Now, for those of you who are worrying about upgrading, you can go ahead and check out my video. It'll teach you how to use Windows 8 as Windows 7. It'll work perfectly the same, and you won't have to worry about the charms bar or that stupid other stuff that's included. And you'll get the performance boost and the boot boost and all that goodies. Now, for those of you who are wondering how much of an increase it does, well, let me tell you this. The stuttering is completely gone. Now, here I've written down some comparisons. Now, these are the frame rates I receive in after the welding has fallen down, which means all the dust clouds are everywhere. Everything's all, like, dusty and special effects-y and stuff like that. So, Windows 7, when I was recording, it was at 20 FPS to 35 FPS. When I wasn't recording, it was 40 to 60. Windows 8, on the other hand, scored 60 to 90, which is already above while it's recording. And when it's not recording, it went from 70 to 110 FPS, which is crazy. So, compare 40 to 60 FPS to 70 and 110 FPS. Which means if I redid the slow-mo video, it would have no lag. Which means I may make a new one in the future when the beta is finished, so that it could be a true 60 FPS and maybe put more work into it, have more buildings falling down, all that cool stuff. So, in case you're wondering how well it would perform visually, the video you are watching now was recorded after the upgrade to Windows 8. And as you can see, there's no stutter, it's got full ultra settings, it's even got all the anti-aliasing on because I'm actually able to run it now. So if you have any questions or you are worried about upgrading to Windows 8 for Battlefield 4, don't know if it's really worth it, go ahead and leave a comment down below, I'll respond to you. And that's pretty much it, it's a really huge improvement and it's really worth it. So thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the Battlefield.